It is a noisy world. A world most people just want to tune out. But some people would like to tune in. I began to notice that um, I was using humor to cover up the fact that um, I was missing every third or fourth word. Their first impression before they meet you is, oh, that's the guy who wears a hearing aid. About 30 million Americans suffer some kind of hearing loss. The suffering real for those staying away from hearing aids, seen as too big, too fragile, carrying a stigma like a handicap. David Goebel of Springfield, Virginia, can now jump in the neighborhood pool. Tiny hearing aid in. That, that sound that uh, you're hearing now, I, I couldn't hear the, the sound of the birds before. It was like being in a, a sleeping bag, very muffled, but it sounded normal to me. But now I can hear him just fine. His hearing help, a little larger than a pencil eraser, placed in the ear canal, close to the eardrum. This device on a keychain turns the hearing aid on, helping control it. Audiologists say it is the size that sells. Because of this device, we've seen a lot of people that wouldn't normally come to the, into the office for hearing problems. Invisible hearing aids have the attention of younger users, like 31-year-old John McDonough, an attorney in New York. Once it's in, it, even if you think about it, I'm not aware that it's in my ear. John lost hearing after surgery, but that has hardly held him back. He recently proposed to his fiance at the end of a half marathon. This, this is as, as close as is possible to the way I heard before I had hearing loss. So it's not just like listening through an amplifier or listening through a microphone. These will set you back some $1,600 an ear every year based on a subscription and the batteries need replacing after a couple of months. For hearing experts, the struggle is getting people who need a device to wear one. There may still be some stigma associated with wearing a hearing aid, but the truth is hearing loss is more visible than wearing a hearing aid. The hearing aid business is big business, with companies competing to develop the most advanced device. So expect what goes in ears to get smaller, making it more difficult to tell just who is getting hearing help. Lee Powell, The Associated Press, Washington.